How can you do IFS on yourself between therapy sessions? And why is it so darn tricky? IFS is supposed to flow naturally, right? Hi, Soul Seeker. I'm Lucille Aaron Wayne, expert IFS therapist, Jungian, and art therapist, guiding visionaries and luminaries to self-heal and become who you really are. Visit seekdeeply.com for your free guide to solo IFS and subscribe. Welcome to Seek Deeply and my very first YouTube video. And I've packed this one full. By the end of this video, you will have two concrete ways to set yourself up for success doing IFS on your own, even if you've tried before and gotten stuck. I work with a lot of people who love IFS and want to go deeper with it. Maybe you want to do IFS between your therapy sessions because you want to get to know a part that you've just met, or maybe you even want to feel less dependent on your therapist and more like your own inner healer. That's my specialty. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna do IFS on myself. I'm gonna be in self, feeling calm, parts. Do you trust me? Parts. Am I? Am I in self right now? Let me assure you, there is nothing wrong with yourself, your system, or your capacity to heal if you're having trouble getting into self when you're doing IFS on your own. In fact, it can be difficult for even someone who's highly educated on IFS to get into self for themselves. In some cases, it can be extra tricky for them, and we'll go over that in another video. But the point is, I want to dispel any beliefs or feelings of shame around something being wrong with you if you sit down to do IFS and you're not instantly in self. I'm going to tell you this big key, it's almost a secret because no one talks about it, this principle. Okay, drum roll. Doing IFS on yourself is a distinct skill from doing IFS with other people. The first thing that we get stuck with is expecting that it's going to sound and look like our usual IFS session in our therapy or sound and look like what we've read in a book or heard in a lecture or on a podcast. So the thing that we can do is to change your mindset. Okay? So repeat after me if you want. My own solo IFS session is going to sound and feel different than IFS with my therapist. And it should because it's a different process. Now, the second thing we need to do is we need to help you create your own container. What I mean by containment is when you have a therapy session, your therapist is helping you step out of your ordinary routine, your ordinary maybe even space if you see your therapist in person. You have that therapy session scheduled and you go there, you just bring yourself and your therapist keeps track of how much time you have, um, what you've done before, where would be helpful for you to go to get healing. And when we do IFS on ourselves, obviously we don't have that therapist there holding the space for us, holding the tracking and the memories for us. It's just us. And if we try to track and hold and contain at the same time that we are being with our parts, then we're going to set ourselves up for splitting. So to avoid splitting, what we can do is use an ancient wisdom path to 
ask something greater than us to help contain us so that we can really fully, genuinely be with our parts. And that makes it much more likely we can get into self and that we can have an authentic exploration of our inner world. And just to mention that IFS is really a shamanistic tool. So that means that we can draw on these ancient um, techniques that our ancestors for millennia have known about to go into the inner world, to go into non-ordinary reality. So my biggest practical tip for you is to create some sort of ritual that will contain yourself and your um, IFS session, okay? There are different ways a ritual can look, but typically a ritual happens with, there's some standard procedure that you do. It might be words you say, it might be the way you set up your space, it's probably going to involve some kind of symbolic movement or action. And that's something that you do at the very beginning before you start the IFS work. And importantly, it's something that you do also at the end of your solo exploration to close this portal into non-ordinary reality, the place where you meet your parts where you go inside, and to fully ground yourself back in regular life. I guarantee you there are some containment rituals you're already doing in your day. If you have a child and they have a bedtime, then there is a series of steps that you take that child through. So brushing teeth, pajamas, story, light off, and the child then, their body has learned to go to sleep. And these rituals, they're things that we do every time so that we don't need to think about how we're going to start. And they not only communicate to the body, all right, it's time, we're going to do this process, we're going to sleep now, or we're going to go inside into the inner world, but they also communicate to our psyche that it's time to engage in this process. And I'll tell you another example. In these YouTube videos, there's a clip of me dancing at the beginning and there's a clip of me dancing at the end, you'll see. And that tells you as the viewer that it's time for the video to start, it's time for the video to end. It's a way of communicating throughout the levels beyond just the verbal. Now, what can be different about your containment ritual for your own IFS is you can make a conscious intention about how you want this time to be. So part of the ritual can be saying out loud, may I meet my parts and increase self-trust, or saying a prayer or a line of a poem. There's something that you can do to imbue this time with the spiritual, with the other plane of reality. If you would like specific instructions for how to do a ritual, you are welcome to download a free audio guide from my website that shows you exactly how. But, you know, whatever the ritual is that you do, the point is you're inviting and asking that which is greater than you to help contain your session so that in that space, that time window between the beginning ritual and the ending ritual, you can really be with your parts. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you learning why it can be tricky to do IFS on your own and how to set yourself up for success. Remember, it's the two ingredients. Mindset, it's going to sound and look and feel different doing IFS on your own, and containment. You can make your ritual and ask that which is greater to hold the space for you so you can really be with your parts. Remember, you can download my audio guide if you want specific guidance on a ritual. And I would love to hear from you in the comments how this works for you and what you'd like my next video to be on. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.